Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Ijma and Qiyas explained. Ijma refers to the consensus of Islamic scholars on a particular legal issue. It is considered one of the primary sources of Islamic law, alongside the Quran, Hadith, and Qiyas. Ijma is based on the belief that the collective agreement of qualified scholars cannot be wrong, as it reflects the community's adherence to divine guidance. Types of Ijma, explicit Ijma, Ijma Sari, when all scholars explicitly agree on a ruling. Implicit Ijma, Ijma Sukuti, when some scholars express their opinions on a ruling and the rest remain silent, which is taken as implicit agreement. Significance, Ijma ensures the continuity and unity of Islamic jurisprudence. It allows for adaptation and flexibility in Islamic law by providing a collective and authoritative interpretation of new issues. Qiyas Qiyas is an Islamic legal term that refers to the process of analogical reasoning. It is used by Islamic jurists to derive legal rulings for situations that are not explicitly mentioned in the Quran or Hadith. Qiyas involves comparing a new case to an existing one that has a clear ruling and reasoning by analogy to apply the same ruling to the new case. Steps in Qiyas Asal, original case, identify a case with a clear ruling in the Quran or Hadith. Far, new case, identify the new case that needs a ruling. Ila, effective cause. Determine the common cause or reason between the original case and the new case. UKM. Ruling. Apply the ruling from the original case to the new case based on the common cause. Example. Original case. Asal. Alcohol consumption is prohibited because it causes intoxication. New case. Far. A new substance that causes intoxication. Effective cause. Illa. Intoxication. Ruling. Hukum. The new substance is also prohibited. In summary, Qiyas is the process of analogical reasoning in Islamic law. It involves deriving legal rulings for new cases by analogy with existing rulings in the Quran or Hadith. Ijma is the consensus of Islamic scholars on a particular legal issue. It is considered a source of Islamic law, reflecting the community's adherence to divine guidance.